Hey there, welcome back to my channel, Messing with Michelle. I'm so glad you're here today because I'm gonna be sharing with you a really exciting video I'm making over my downstairs bathroom. Here are just a few before shots of what the bathroom currently looks like. If you've been in my channel before, you may have caught my video where I painted the entire main level of my house, Calm OC22 by Benjamin Moore, which is part of their off-white collection. And I also posted a makeover of my laundry room a couple of weeks ago and carried the same Calm color in that space. And the laundry room is directly across from the downstairs bathroom. So I really wanted to have a more cohesive look with the main hallway where the bathroom is located off as well as a more cohesive look with the laundry room across the hall because I did remove the entire door from the laundry room so I wanted everything to flow a lot nicer and even though I really love this color in the bathroom I felt that it was just a little bit too dark and didn't really tie in with the rest of the house so I'm ready to make a change and give this space a really fresh new modern look. To help achieve a more modern look in this space I'm going to be replacing the current pedestal sink with a brand new vanity. So the first thing that I did was turn off the water supply to the faucet and now I'm using channel locks to remove the valves. Before taking off the valves, I made sure the water supply was off and there was no pressure inside the faucet. And you will notice a bit of water did come out because there will be water in your water line. So make sure to have a towel or bucket available so this way you can clean up any small spills. This is my first attempt of doing any sort of plumbing around the house and I'm quite happy that I didn't have any floods or any pipe bursts along the way. That was my biggest fear that I was going to break something and then have water rushing out at me. But I turned off the water supply and everything was smooth sailing. So the next thing I'm going to do is remove the drain stop which is located at the back of your vanity. So I'm just unscrewing all the different components and then I'm going to remove the drain from the top of the sink. So part of the drain stop, there's this small rod and I was able to unscrew it. I wasn't able to show it on camera, me actually doing it, but I unscrewed the back and then I was able to remove this, which is part, as I mentioned, the stopper. And this is what it looks like. So you have to make sure this is also removed. So this way you can remove the top part of your drain, which you'll see in just a moment. Now that I have the stopper released at the back, I'm able to pull it out freely from the drain. And you can see here that my drain was really gunked up and it was a great opportunity to really clean out the pipes before I started putting in my new vanity. So my pedestal sink was just connected to the wall using silicone. So I'm just using a sharp knife and running along the silicone a few times to release it from the wall. Now I'm not gonna use the same faucet for my makeover. So that's why I didn't take it off the top of the vanity, but the pedestal sink comes in two parts and you have the top bowl and then you have the actual pedestal and they separate and there's just a bit of silicone at the bottom of the pedestal connecting to the base that I had to cut as well so this way I was able to release the top part of the sink and have two separate pieces to remove from the bathroom. So there was very minimal damage to the wall. There was just a bit of silicone left over that I'm using my putty knife to scrape off and some of the paper came off the drywall, but nothing really major. So I'm just taking my putty knife, going around the perimeter of where the vanity was placed and I'm just trying to smooth out the edges. The most important part that I need to focus on was to make sure that the top part where the pedestal sink met the wall was patched up and sanded down really well. The new vanity is pretty much the same height, but just in case there's any slight height variation, I want to make sure that you're not not able to see a seam where the old pedestal sink sat against the wall. So I'm just using a bit of sandpaper to sand down the edges and then I'm going in with dry decks to patch up the wall. And dry decks is really easy to use. It goes on pink and once it is dry, it's completely white so you know you're ready to start sanding the area. I did sand the area off camera. There's a lot of fine dust floating in the air so I just wanted to keep the camera out of the bathroom but I sanded down the wall and I wanted to make sure that it was prepped correctly and it was nice and smooth before I started to go in and start painting the walls. Here I am holding up the paint chip sea salt by Benjamin Moore that I've selected for the bathroom and this is against the calm in the main level of the house. My main objective as I had mentioned was to have a more cohesive look and I thought with the sea salt and the calm they really went well together but they weren't a complete match. This was a little bit of difference between the main hallway and the bathroom but still enough similarities where it really flowed nicely when you walk through the hallway and you're able to see inside of the bathroom. So one thing about my bathroom is there's no natural light and there's no windows. So the green was beautiful, but it really made this space feel really dark. 
So I really like the color sea salt because it really brightened up the space and it felt a little bit more open and a bit more airy. I wasn't able to find a lot of information about sea salt on Benjamin Moore's website, but it is a beige and gray combination and it doesn't really pick up well on camera because of the lighting. I have a very warm lighting inside my bathroom, but you can see gray when you're live inside the space and a little bit of beige. So it was a really nice flow between the hallway and the bathroom where it really went together really well. So next up, I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum spray paint in the color black to spray paint my toilet paper holders. I just want to save a little bit of a cost and reuse these items that I already have. I had a chrome finish on both the toilet paper holders and I'm going for a different type of look inside the bathroom. So I wanted to spray paint them black to blend in well with the rest of the decor that I've chosen for this space. Now that I have the walls painted with two coats of sea salt to cover up the green, I'm ready to have the vanity installed. And just out of magic, the vanity is going to install itself. And here it is. This is the Doric vanity by Wade Logan from Wayfair. And this is a mid-century vibe type of vanity. And I'm using a black Moen faucet called Genta to really tie in the look. And the color of the vanity is walnut. I really love this vanity because it had a mid-century modern vibe to it, so I wanted to play on that look inside this space. So to tie everything in together to achieve this look of mid-century modern, I used gold accents, black and white, and natural wood tones throughout the decor inside this space. I'm keeping my towel ladder that I previously had in the bathroom and I wanted to add new towels into the space. So I'm going to be using black and white accents to pull in the accents from the faucet and the mirror, but I also want to have a pop of color and more mid-century modern type of vibe. So I chose to have a mustard towel as my pop of color inside the space and that really inspired the rest of the decor inside the bathroom as well. So you're going to see little pops of mustard as well as gold accents to really tie everything in together. I was really surprised that I was leaning towards yellow when it came to the accent color of the bathroom, but everything blended in so well. The gold, the yellow, the natural wood tones, and the black just played off each other so well inside this space. I found this really beautiful small throw rug from Beauclair and it was the perfect addition to the space. I was looking high and low for a little tiny throw rug to put in front of the bathroom and I couldn't find anything and this was just a last minute find and I just pulled the colors that I was going for in this space perfectly. So before I jump in and show you the big reveal of the makeover, here are just a few reminders of what the bathroom used to look like. And here is the final reveal of my mid-century modern bathroom. 
So I'm gonna go through and just show you different clips of all the different elements in the bathroom. I really enjoy this space now. It's bright, it's fresh. I love the natural wood tones, but also the contrasting elements of the gold and black and white, and everything really tied in really well. And just by changing out the vanity and have the inspiration for a mid-century modern look, everything else just kind of fell into place. And I just love having the pops of mustard inside the bathroom, and it just adds a nice little bit of accent and contrast to the rest of the color palette inside the bathroom. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure to give this video a like on your way out and I will catch you in my next video when I upload next Sunday. Thanks for watching. Bye!